Some of the best men in the world, they always hear no. Some of the best men in the world only hear no. You know, nowadays, you know, a lot of the best men in the world, man, they, they single, they lonely, you know, they never experience love. They never experience nobody sacrificing for them. You know, some of them have, but they was probably too young to appreciate it. Too young to understand what was going on. May have started too late. They didn't quite know. As men, you don't always quite know when it comes to women. You don't always quite know what's in front of you at a young age. It takes a, a, a wise man in that area to really know what's going on. Maybe a good father, uncle to let you know, hey, that's a good girl right there. You know, stay with that. You know what I'm saying? It takes, uh, it takes a little help for you to understand when you got a good girl. <clears throat> Other than that, your, your mind, even if you're a good person, you're, at that age, your mind may wander at 17, 18, 19. 20 and 21, you know, usually a man to get some women's sense at probably about 30, 35. And that's when he, he can get women's sense and he's still in shape, most men. And then they can really appreciate a younger woman better. They can appreciate a 21 year old, you know, and they can, you know, probably do more for her. But at that age, only thing a man can do at a young age is break a woman's heart. You know, give her some hand bone and break her heart. That's the only thing a young man can really do at a young age. You know, so, you know, they, the young man might be handsome, or, you know, if he's young, you, you know, cute, just starting out, just, just finished getting tall, you know, the stomach flat, skin smooth, got all his teeth, no, no gut, you know what I'm saying? Energetic stamina, but, you know, at 35, you're still young, too. And 35, even 40, some guys are still great. But I'm just saying, when you're that young, when you're just reaching the tip of manhood, 18, 19, and 20, and 21, you're not at the same. You're not looking at women. You love, might be attracted to women, might. But you're not as serious. You're not thinking, most guys ain't thinking forever because they know they want to experience. Men are made to experience. Their body is made to experience uh, <laughs> physically more than one woman not saying that's right but their body is more susceptible made to experience more than one woman than woman bodies made to experience more than one man because of the inward thing and you don't want the accumulation of multiple men DNA in your body in your brain because the telegone travels through your the DNA from other men travels through your bloodstream and goes to your brain and rest. And when time of conception, it releases from your brain and travels in your bloodstream and go all the way back down into the egg. Multiple men DNA. And I know any woman, any woman in the right mind wouldn't want multiple men DNA all up in her from the kissing, from the hugging, the moisture, the, the sweat glands, the saliva, and of course the semen, all of that in her body from multiple men getting down in her egg. That would be a nasty abomination, and it's unclean. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to smell like the chicken of the sea. So you know, you definitely want to. Women are not built for that, but young men, they're you know they're not mature enough and as serious as a woman, and then they break a woman's heart. You know, all men are this, all men are that. You know, they're accumulating the guys from high school from college and stuff like that. And a lot of times they don't go after the guy that's really into them. They're going after the guy that's not, they're going after the guy that's not really um, paying them attention. And he's usually popular. You know, he's usually not a bad guy. He's just not ready for nothing serious. And he ended up saying, let's just be friends. Let's take things slow or something like that because he's feeling trapped and she's talking about marriage and he can feel that she's clinging, clinging, clinging. He can feel the clinging energy. And then all, all of a sudden, you know, he like, I don't want to break her heart. Let me get away now before she get to, you know, better for me to let go now and then later it's going to be even harder on her. And that's what happens, you know. So women are actually better off going after older guys, an older godly man that they're attracted to, you know, 
no man is perfect, but I think their best to go. That's their best bet at a younger age when they like what, what, between 18 and 21. Other than that, they make they 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 uh they got a high risk of getting ran through, you know, getting ran through by multiple guys. Some women think that's cute, but it's unhealthy for like I was telling you about the telegony thing, and not even including the STDs and the demonic spirits and the uh, you know transmitted demonic spirits. Um, that's it be transferred through um, touch and through intercourse. And uh, and if you don't believe in demons, the scientists have already proven that <laughs> these strange forces does rest in the body, and these strange things does rest on the brain. So the, yeah, demons are scientifically proven now. We can look it up anywhere. The research is profound on what they found on you know. People that claim that they, you know, been they are possessed or something has, you know, been going on. They've been hearing things in their head or whatever the case is. Um, it's been scientifically proven these people have been having. They have something in they that's collect that's um, attached to their nervous system and brain. But I love you. I'm Alan Ray in there. Make sure you brush your teeth and brush your tongue because your breath smells like you got a lot on your mind. Um, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell button. M follow me on my, my, my regular page. My, my main page is Alan Rillionaire Show. I mean, Alan Rillionaire on my regular page. Um, hit that. Alan Rillionaire Show is my Instagram. Where you, if you want a consultation, you would like to speak to me about anything, message me on Instagram at Alan Rillionaire Show. If you want a consultation, don't forget to wipe your butt, uh, brush your teeth. And uh, get that eye boo-boo out of your eye, okay? Much love to you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Feel free to share the video on your TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. All right? I don't know if that's your toe smelling like sausage, but hopefully it's not. I'll holler at you later. We out.